One of the most important strategies you need to practice in singles is called serve plus one. Now, this video is courtesy of Matt Lynn on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. I've put his link in the description below. So let's watch this short point and then we'll analyze it. Now we have UCLA versus USC, number one singles. And it was a short point, but there's a lot to learn from. Now, let's look at the returner, Holt. Now, when you're returning serve, you're trying to get movement forward. You're trying to get your body weight going forward to basically fight fire with fire and attack the return. You'll notice he steps forward. This is actually the way I return serve personally. He takes a step forward and then split steps. You actually see this with Andy Murray too. A step forward and then a split step. The timing of the split step is really critical. You want to land your split step around 0.2 to 0.25 seconds after the opponent makes contact with the ball. So we go to contact from Red Licky right there. There's contact. Put a timer down and let's see when Holt hits the ground. There we go. Perfect. He's hitting the ground 0.23, smack dab in the middle of 0.2 to 0.25. The reason is you want your brain and your reaction time to synchronize with when your feet hit the ground. So you don't want to land as your opponent hits because then your brain still has about a fifth to a quarter of a second to figure out where the ball's going. And it's hard to break inertia at that point. You actually want to land as your brain is reacting, which is after the opponent hits the ball, obviously. We're always going to have a delay in our reaction time. So we want to land after the opponent hits. Now, one little thing, and these are the details that I wonder if the coaches notice because coaches, college, high school, pro coaches, they need to be studying video footage of their players so they can make tiny little corrections based on the details they see. I want you to notice how Holt at the beginning has both hands on the grip. That is awesome and that is what you want to do when you are returning serve as a two-hander. But I want you to look as the toss goes up in the air and you see Holt take a step forward, watch Holt's left hand go up to the throat. You do not want to do that. You don't want to move your hand up to the throat because then when a ball comes hard to the backhand, you then have two hands to move. He's going to have to move his left hand back down to the grip and change the grip with his right hand. So he should be taught to keep both hands on the grip and not sneak that hand up to the throat of the racket. So that's critical that the coaches know that kind of stuff or Holt, if you're watching this video, <laughs> make that correction. Keep both hands on the grip. That way, when the ball comes to your backhand, you only have to change your right hand. You don't have to change both. Now, Red he has got a big serve and Holt has a really small backswing. Look at this. Like he takes the racket back about 100 degrees. That's it. I mean, it gets to 90 and then a little bit past 90. And it's a short backswing. You can see he extends out. The goal when you return serve in singles against strong serves when you're behind the baseline. So this is when you're behind the baseline. You're trying to hit deep down the middle. And you want to pin the ball near the opponent's feet who most likely came inside the court. You can see Red Licky here. He's got a really big serve. He's a tall guy. When he's done serving, he's inside the baseline. So if Holt can return really deep near the feet, that's going to get Red Licky in trouble. Maybe Red Licky hits a really short ball that then Holt can attack and blast to a corner. But in fact, Holt doesn't hit a strong enough ball and the ball lands around the service line. You can see this ball actually is like slightly inside the service line. Now, this is where Red Licky has to hit this ball hard, either to the right side for him, it's his right, or to the left side, and he then needs to immediately attack. What a lot of recreational players do after talking to just thousands of players over the years is they tend to think, you know, I serve the ball and then I get into a rally with my opponent and we hit the ball back and forth and I wait for them to miss. And that's not how you want to think. You want to think of the serve and the net shot as a combination, kind of a one-two punch. So you're going to get your serve, and then your first shot plays off of the serve. So here is a weak return, and you can see he's not just going to push the ball into play and start a rally. He's going to take advantage of this weak ball. In fact, you'll see 
Holt, as he recovers, look at him moving back. Holt knows he is in trouble. He knows this ball is going to be absolutely blasted, and he's trying to move back to at least have a little bit of time to react and have a chance to run down this ball. Red Licky crushes this ball into his left corner. It is our right. And then I want you to notice, and you can see it, it doesn't land super deep, and that's fine. He's trying to give himself margin. But I want you to notice what Red Licky does to really seal the deal. Watch how after he hits this ball, he starts coming forward. He ends the point on the service line. He didn't hit the ball from the service line. He hit the ball back near the baseline, hits it into the corner or to the sideline, and then he runs forward. He's doing that just in case Holt maybe guesses and, and guesses correctly that the ball is going to his right and that uh, Holt goes over there and maybe gets that ball back. Red Licky wants to come in and put that ball away. This is something that you need to practice. If this is you, then have this be your coach. If you take lessons, have your coach return your serve. And if the coach's return is anywhere in the service box, you need to train this. You are going to hit a strong shot to a sideline and immediately start coming forward. You use this strategy, you're going to win a lot more matches. Now, if you're looking for an online solution to help you win more singles matches, then check out the new rules of singles by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Will Hamilton teams up with Craig O'Shaughnessy, the leading stats guy in the world for what's working on the Pro Tours and what's not, and he's sharing this information with you, the recreational player. To check out the new rules of singles in the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app, just click the link in the description or wait till the end of the video when a link will pop up on the screen. And if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Go out and practice your serve plus one strategy. When you get a weak return, immediately hit it to a sideline and attack. Go forward, take time away from your opponent. You use this strategy more often, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.